Greetings to all and welcome to our part two video on the creation of uh, views. In the last video, we created a view on lecturer's details. And uh, in the meantime, I also created a video on my own on admins details and the two views are actually very, very similar. Going back to the set of tasks that we wanted to do, you can see that we have already created the first view. I did it with you in the video. And I created on my own this other view, which is quite similar to the first one. Today, we are going to create a view that we'll call Logged In Lecturer Courses Details. So the purpose of this view is to see certain details on the courses that are taught by the lecturer who is currently logged in. Which details do we want to see? We want to see for each of those courses, the course code, the course title, which level is the course? Is it a, a first semester, second year, or first semester, second semester, or year courses? And is it first year, second year, third year, or fourth year courses, and so on? We want to then use which tables to build that view. We want to use the table lecturer courses that is linking the courses to their lectures. And we also want to use the course lecturer as well as the course courses. Those are the three tables that will allow us to collect these attributes. Now, we are saying we want the details of the lecturer that is currently logged in. So we need to have a mechanism to collect the information on who is currently logged in. In other words, what is the username of the user who is currently logged in? This is the bit of code that will allow us to get that information. This part of the code help us to know the username of who is currently logged in. Therefore, we are going to compare this username with the one in the database in the table lecturers and make sure that this username here is equal to the same username that is from this table. Very, very good. Let's now start to build our view. We go back to Apex. Apex is here. We create our view. Apex will ask us for the name of our view. The view is called Logged In Courses, Lecturer's Courses Detail. We copy it and we can now go to Apex and simply paste it. From there, he will ask us to build a query. Go to Query Builder. And we will have to pick up which tables, lecturers, courses, lecturers, and courses. Let's start with lecturers, courses. Pick up, I will put it at the middle. And then the second table is lecturers. And then I will put it on this side. And the last table is 
Very, very good. So the three tables are there. What else do we have to specify? The attributes that we are interested in. In our view, we want to know the course code, the title. Let's start by picking up those two. The course code. What is my course code? This is not a course code. This is the course. Let, no, this is the course ID. The course code is here. Then the title of the course, this one. What else do we need to collect? We also need to collect the level of the course, the season of the course, the level of the course, and the season of the course. Very, very good. Now we need to link to say is for a specific lecturer that we want those courses. Let's start by linking the course ID is the foreign key here. We need to link it with the other course ID, which is the foreign key on this side. Then on this other side, we are saying the lecturer ID must be linked with the lecturer ID on this side. I think we are done with our links. We can now return to the code and you can see that the code has been created and we will click on next to move to the next stage from here we'll ask for the view to be created the view has been created so remember at this stage i ask i, I told you that we needed to put some extra code so that we can collect the name of the username of the lecturer who is currently logged in. So we are going to collect that code and we are going to copy it, go back to Apex and try to paste it in the appropriate location. So what is the appropriate location? To add the code, you need to go to code. Once you are in the code, you'll see the code is written there. And all the attributes that you put, they were there. The last attribute was select. It was at this level. So what I'm going to do is to add a new piece of code for that uh, identification of the current user. Now, we are saying this is the current user and uh, we want to make sure that that person is equal to the one that is currently there. Let's just have a short break and we will specify the part, the next part of the SQL. So the first thing that we will do, you can see here is code. Those are the four attributes that are the output and they also appear here. So the first thing that we will do, because we added a new attribute here, we will also put it at this level. It will be the last attribute. We will see in the output, we would like to see what is the username that is given from Apex. The username is this one here is the same as this one. The second thing that we'll do is to put a condition to say the username that is given by Apex should be the same as the username of the current lecturer. So we are going to say and lecturers dot username we are going to say is equal to this username this is how we make sure that we'll only get the courses of 
the lecturer who is currently, this is how we identify the lecturer who is currently logged in. We make sure on the table lecturers, we are only taking the one who is currently logging in. From here, I'm going to save the changes and compile them. You can see it is green, which means the compilation went well. And uh, I can now, I cannot show the data now because I am not logged in the, the app. So I'm going to close and I'll show you later on how we will test it and make sure that it is working. We thank you and we will be very happy to see you.